Watch this video to learn how to play Sailing in the Sun from the Piano Adventures Level 1 Lesson Book. Today we are in Piano Adventures Level 1 Lesson Book and we are going to learn how to play Sailing in the Sun. Sailing in the Sun is on page 11 of this book. You have recently learned how to play legato and we're going to use this piece to help us learn how to play legato transitioning from one hand to another hand. We're also going to be working with rest beats, working on reading a long passage, a long run of notes, and we are going to be working on dynamics here. So with that, let's go ahead and figure out the basics of the piece. First of all, this piece is in C major. Your right hand thumb is going to be on C and your left hand thumb is going to be on B. They will be next door neighbors. It tells us that we should play this briskly. So this is not a slow song. Um, when I think of briskly, I think of walking along at a brisk pace. So that's a pace that gets your heartbeat going a little bit. It's not running, it's not jogging, but it's also so definitely not slow. And then it tells us that we are in 4-4 four, four time, so there will be four beats to every measure. We're going to begin by learning lines one and two, then we will learn line three, then we will learn line four. I want you to start to notice that there are boxes that have numbers above the music here. Those are measure numbers. So we can count the measures um, by each time you see one of these walls, it's another measure. So this is measure one, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice that box says five. That box is a measure number counter, and you will usually find them at the beginning of each new line of music. They are there so that you don't have to count from the very beginning to figure out where you are. So we're going to begin today by learning measures one through eight. That's this one. And then this is number eight. I know because that's nine. So eight comes right before nine. Let's go ahead and put our music up, get our hands on the piano, and we will get started. So your right hand needs to have a thumb on middle C and your left hand thumb will be next door on B. The beginning starts with C and then you go down, down, down. And you'll notice that there is a legato slur over these notes. So these should be like walking. We always want to have one finger down, never two fingers down. So we're going to start with C, now B, then A, then G. This is where we're working on going from one hand to the next with legato, and it can be kind of tricky. So I'm going to show you what to avoid. We don't want to do this because the sound was not connected from right hand to left hand. And we also don't want to do this. because we have two fingers down at a time when we do that, and there can only be one. So this transition right here needs to go, this goes up at the same time this goes down. Try just that. Let's do it two more times. One more. And now we'll keep going down, down, down. One, two, here we go. In the next measure, you see a rest beat first. Remember, a rest is silent. So we need to pick that G up after one beat, and then there's silence for a full beat. And then we go two Cs. We're going to do it together and say the rhythm words while we do it so that we get it right. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, ta. Great. The next pattern is almost the same. We're going to start on D, go straight to the left hand, rest, two Ds. Let's try the whole first line. One, two, 
Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Sh, ta, ta. D. Ta, ta, ta. Sh, D, D. Great. Now we're going to start on E and skip to C. Up, up. And it's two Fs. Try that starting in measure five. One, two, three. Ready, go. E, skip, up, up, sh, F, F. And now the last two measures of the section, we start on E, skip down, step up, skip down, rest, two Cs. Try that with me. So starting in measure seven, E, C, Okay, we're going to play measures one through eight all together, and we're really focusing on making sure that we have the legatos happening in every other measure. One, two, ready, go, legato. Always one finger, never two. Rest. Start on D, legato. Rest. Start on E, legato. Rest two Fs. Start on E legato. Two Cs. Great. We're going to look at measures 9 through 12 now. That is line 3. Let's begin by looking at the notes. Now our legato is going to move from the left to the right. So we want to make sure there's always one finger down, never two. Try just that. We're going G to C and E together. Do it again. Okay, after that, it goes one, two, three. Then we do it again. One, two. Try that with me. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Then we're going to do two and four in your right hand, the same note in your left hand. And it's the same pattern. So let's go ahead and play measures 11 and 12. One, two, ready, go. Great. We're going to play the whole line now, but I want you to notice that the first measure has a P in it for piano, so it's going to be very quiet. And then there are two words um, surrounding the bar line between measures 10 and 11, and they say grow louder. So we're going to play measure 9 like it's piano, measure 10 like it's mezzo piano, measure 11 like it's mezzo forte, and then you can see at the end of measure 12, there is a forte. So we're always getting a little louder. Beginning in measure nine. One, two, ready, go. Piano. Ta, 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 mezzo piano. Ta, ta, mezzo forte. Up to two and four. Keep getting louder. And now four. Lastly, let's take a look at line number four. In line number four, it's very important for you to look at where the skips and the steps are. So you will notice that in my music, so you will notice that in my music, I have little skip signs everywhere that there is a skip. And putting those signs in might help you. Technically, there's also a skip here where we're going to go from your right hand to, to your left hand thumb. So you can put one in there as well. And where there's not a skip, we are moving by steps. So we have to look at where the skips and steps are and also what direction we're moving in. So this looks like it's going down and then up, down and then up, down, little up, down. So the first note of this run is E, which is your third finger with your right hand. We're going to start there. Then we skip down, step up three times. Skip down, step up twice. Now it's a step down, 
skip to C, step up, skip to left hand thumb, and then we sh two C's. Let's try that together very slowly. So we're going to start with your right hand on E, third finger, one, two, ready, go. E, skip down, step up three times, all the way to F, Skip down, step up three or two times to F again. Step down, skip down, step up, skip down. Two C's. We're going to do it one more time that slow. One, two, ready, go. E, skip down, step up three times to F. Skip down, step up two times to F, step down, skip down, step up, skip down, two C's. Let's do it a little faster now. One, two, ready, go. E, skip down, steps up, skip down, steps up, step down, skip down, step up, skip down. Here is your practice plan for sailing in the sun. You should practice this piece for five minutes a day. Enough time to be productive in your practice, but not so much time that you begin to become too frustrated. First, play it in the sections that we use to learn it in. Once you feel successful in those sections, you are ready to combine it together as a whole piece. It is my suggestion to always play the last line alone first, and then to play the rest of the piece because I have found that that last line can be a tricky trap when you get to it at the end, and isolating it first will help you to be ready for that. Finally, make sure that you're always checking your artistry. Are you playing the dynamics? Is your legato going well? Do you always have one hand down, but never two? And are you also observing the rest beats? You did it. You made it to the end of this video. You learned all the pieces of Sailing in the Sun, and you're ready to practice and master it at home. Good luck, and thank you for watching today.